News. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Bottom line, we're going to protect vaccinated workers from unvaccinated co-workers. First up right now at 11 o'clock, that announcement from the president introducing sweeping new vaccine mandates that could impact more than 100 million Americans. And one of those new mandates will require businesses with more than 100 employees to ensure workers are vaccinated or they would have to get tested weekly. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson spoke with the Connecticut Business and Industry Association about how this will impact companies in the state. She is joining us live from downtown Hartford with more. Sharon. Well, Mark and Aaron, the CBIA CEO tells me that they do applaud President Biden for continuing to tackle this pandemic, but he is worried that this is going to make the labor shortage even worse. My message to unvaccinated Americans is this. What more is there to wait for? What more do you need to see? President Biden addressing the nation today, taking fault with the nearly 80 million Americans who are unvaccinated. As a part of a six-point plan to tackle the pandemic, the Department of Labor will be developing a rule that requires all employers with 100 or more employees be fully vaccinated or submit to weekly testing. The plan will also require employers to provide paid time off for employees to get vaccinated. We're going to reduce the spread of COVID-19 by increasing the share of the workforce that is vaccinated. Businesses that don't comply could face hefty fines. In Connecticut, the CBIA says the mandate will impact just over 5% of their member companies. The majority of businesses in Connecticut have less than 100 employees, but there are still some concerns. Record numbers of job opening that businesses can't fill. Will employees now decide to stop working altogether because they don't want to get vaccinated? In their President and CEO Chris Deepentima says they surveyed members months ago. 37% are against the government vaccine mandate. The association has been encouraging businesses to promote and incentivize getting the vaccine, but now they have another hurdle. The testing alternative uh, is, is a good thing right now, but what happens when the companies have to start paying for the testing? Right. And now they start incurring costs. Deep in Tima says they'll be waiting for more guidance from OSHA to figure out how to roll out this federal mandate. Because I think this is just the first step and a series of uh, mandates for the vaccine that are probably coming down the road from the government. And we also reached out to the Connecticut Restaurant Association. They say they're also waiting for more guidance from OSHA before they start advising their restaurants. Live in Hartford tonight, Sharon Johnson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. We...